Next, we're going to take a look at another problem. This is one we're going to use noise reduction for. Here is some footage. This is actually some uh, DV footage. And you'll notice that there's a lot of noise here in the, uh, in the footage. There's a lot of noise. And actually, it's not noise from compression. Uh, it's noise just from the recording process. So it's luminance noise uh, that was picked up by the camera. And we're going to use another filter, BCC noise reduction, to fix this. So that is in BCC effects and we take BCC noise reduction and we'll drag and drop it down onto this clip. And right away it's it's kind of made things a little better. Let me close this area up and we'll do a little RAM preview so you can see what's done here. Uh, there's still a little bit of noise but the default preset has done pretty good on the noise reduction. Now noise reduction does have a lot of presets including presets for particular cameras uh, which is kind of nice. But we're just going to start uh, from scratch here. You'll notice there are multiple smoothing modes. There's temporal and spatial together, or just spatial, or just temporal. You would use temporal smoothing when the noise uh, is from the recording process. And so if you have low light noise, where the noise is being introduced frame by frame. You would use spatial if you had things like compression noise, where you just wanted to smooth out each individual frame on its own. Now, because this footage originated as DV, there probably could use some spatial noise reduction, but the temporal is the one that I'm going to focus on. So I'm going to open up temporal here, and you'll notice that there's a control here called max frames because temporal is going to compare frame from frame. So here's what's happening. You've got noise, which is random. The noise is going to be different on every frame but the contents of the frame is fairly constant. So in this particular case, the clouds on each frame are going to be in the same place. Um, although they're moving, they're going to be relatively in the same place, whereas the noise is going to be totally random. So I'm going to tell it to uh, increase the max frames to three. Look, uh, three frames before and three frames uh, ahead. And I'm going to increase the smoothing to three. And then we're just going to do a little RAM preview and watch this. I'm going to Shift B. And look at that, frame by frame, there's almost no noise. No noise at all. Because what BCC noise reduction has done is it's compared the frames. Let's play this at full frame. It's compared the frames, and it's determined what is noise on each frame and what is content from each frame, and has eliminated the noise and kept the content. Uh, you could do the same thing with spatial if you had noise on each frame individual that wasn't frame to frame you would use a spatial noise reduction. And then there's softening and sharpening. Now softening is on in this particular incident. We could turn the softening off if you'd like. Uh, there are controls to soften uh, the Y, the color blue and red individually, the blue channel, the red channel, and the luminance channel, which by the way uh, carries your green signal. Uh, so if you turn this on, you can control the softening in each one of those channels. I'm going to turn this off and just add a little bit of sharpening. So sharpening is normally off. You can sharpen just the luminance channel or you can sharpen all the channels. Uh, and then you could just bring the sharpening uh, up a bit. And we'll take a look at how that looks. Again, looking at it frame to frame, I think the sharpening has reintroduced a little bit of noise. I'm not real happy with that. Um, and so in this case, I'm not going to use the sharpening. And I'll just go back and maybe turn the softening back on. And we'll watch that once again. Yeah, it was actually better with just the softening and, uh, and no sharpening. So if you find the image is getting a little too soft, you might want to add some sharpening. If you find that there's still a little bit of artifacts left from doing maybe some spatial noise reduction, you could add some softening as well. Okay, this last example is in a low light situation. I know many of you have gotten to this low light situation. This video was taken in a club under low lighting conditions. There was no way to use an alternate light source. I'm using my Sony A1U, which uh, is not that great in low light, unfortunately. It's got a CMOS sensor, uh, and it's not as good as my Z1. When I went back to record again, I used my Z1. Um, and so I've got this A1 footage that I've got to do something with. It's got tons of noise in here. And so what I want to do is remove that noise. Uh, so let me make this loop region a little smaller. And once again, I will go up to noise reduction and drag and drop that on the event. And because 
the noise is light related, I'm going to open up temporal and I'm going to increase, I'm going to increase the max frames uh, to maybe look at two frames, but more importantly, and, and if you look at this, I'm going to start here, I'm going to increase the Y range of the temporal noise reduction because a lot of this noise is coming in on this Y channel because it's low light noise. So as I increase the Y, you can see it getting a little bit better and let me really do a RAM preview here. Look at that frame to frame, all that noise is gone. Just by using a little bit of temporal noise reduction, increasing uh, the reduction in the Y range because it's low noise and look at that. Now let's, let's do this one side by side because this should be pretty dramatic side by side. I'm going to open up compare. As a matter of fact, I'll use the, uh, the compare mode with the, with the wipe. So on the left side has no reduction and the right side has reduction. So let's, let's do a little RAM preview of this. So you could see this side by side. And look at that. All this noise here, almost no, no, no noise over here. And once again, you could look at them side by side as well. We'll do that again. I'll do another RAM preview of this side by side. Look at all the noise here in uh, the shirt and there's almost no noise on the other side. Took what is, in my estimation, unusable footage. I, w you know, I wouldn't use footage that looked this bad. And on the right has made it quite, quite usable. So that wraps it up. Hopefully now you understand the image restoration tools, smooth tone and noise reduction in BCC7 a little better. If you need more information, drop by BorisFX.com. This is John Refrano for Boris TV. Until next time, thanks for watching. Thank you.